Your square cut made just in front of point, going across with the left foot. Then we have your four drives, the cover drive, the off drive, the straight drive, and the on drive. They're all practically the same, except for the, except for the direction in which the ball is hit. Then you have your forward leg glance, in that way, and you have the leg glance played by going back in that fashion. Then you also have what is known as the pull shot, and you have what is known as the hook shot. That covers practically the whole of the area right around the field, and those are most of the orthodox shots. Thank you, Mr. Bowman. He can't, it's all over, he's caught behind, it's tremendous, five wickets for no runs. In terms of statistics, Freddie Truman's greatest feat to date in a test match, and it's completely swung this match. It's another one, four for none. Wes Hall very comprehensively bowled. Is it out? Yes, the umpire taking time. Griffith out as well, nothing can stop Truman now for a second time in his test career. Five wickets for no runs. And Solomon swings and he's caught behind and it's six wickets in this spell for four runs. The problems on this third day of the Melbourne test match, their own first innings total of only 242, not very good that. And Australia... Divots in the green. Marsh is taking wickets. Hooks is clearing pickets. And the chapel's eyes have got that killer gleam. Come on, Aussie, come on, come on. Come on, Aussie, come on. And he's caught him for 96, just four short of that 100. And Max Walker has broken through. Ian Chappell, the man taking the catch. A good delivery from Walker. Greg aiming to steer it away past square yeah, point. So let's ask our panel of experts, what can the viewers hope to see? Um, well, they're seeing it. This is it. We've been playing for two days. <laughs> good, but nothing seems to be happening. Ah, oh, that's quite correct. That's because nothing is happening, because this is cricket. over 10 runs on the board and Ian Botham is bowling to Hilditch. Oh dear me, you wouldn't believe it. Simply wouldn't believe it. 
Richard Ellison, the catcher. Two men out there waiting for the hook shot. Bowl the bouncer and hit it straight down the straight. Both of them has had most of the strike. Here he is now to Matthews. I cannot believe he took that catch. That was hit with awesome power by Botham. Somehow, Matthews managed to hang on to it. So that's it. He's got to hit a boundary. We go over the top. The men will go back inside the circle. They're right on the line. He'll probably pitch it in towards leg stump in the full. It's down! That's four! That's Nick B for Australia! What an effort! What a strike! That's Michael Bevan's evening at the Sydney Cricket Ground. What a shot under pressure! Oh, it's bowled him. It's gone right through him. Beautifully bowled by Shane Warren. He's tossed it up. He's got it in the rough. And he's spun it back through the gap. And there's Wigan 526. He said work nicely then, Gilly. <laughs> yeah, well, he does roll his fingers across the seams. I actually thought I might try and attempt to play him a bit more like a, a fast spin bowler, but... He looks a nice pace to me. I, I, <laughs> he, it looks to me like you're lining him up. Let's see where we go, this one. Oh, bowling. A little inside edge right there. And once again, it's Monty Pellissar who makes the breakthrough for England. That's a brilliant inch from Adam Gook. It's 48 he made. 14 needed, three wickets left. There she goes. That's massive. It's high and it's long. And the weird brother out of the hangovers hung onto it. <laughs> Here we go. Last ball of the day. Fantastic catch. He has got beautiful hands, Cameron White. They're soft. You can hear the ball just plop into them. And watch the movement here. And again, he's pitched it up and allowed it to swing. It's gone away a little bit off the seam. And look at that. They are as soft as butter. Two in swingers. This one doesn't come in. Simon Butts thinking it might tentatively leaves his bat out there. And there's another edge. Boy, he's bowling well, right, right. That's just quality opening bowling. Ball in the right areas and just enough movement to find the edge. And he is finding them. Peter Siddle said Eunice can't play and miss three times from the other end. But Harris stands the seam up, nips it away and gets the outside edge beautifully. Brad Haddon is moving extremely well and there was no trouble with that at all. Oh, he's out. He was looking to drop one at his feet and take off with a single. It appeared he wanted a pretty on strike, and it's uh, knocked the bail off just. That's what can happen, I reckon. You make your own luck in this game. That's what Ryan Harris has done so far. His intensity is great. That ball's on Umar Akmar quicker than he thought. He's made his own luck, has Ryan Harris. He's now got three for 15. And there's an edge. He gets another one. Presence felt. Where's he been all summer? Oh, that's brilliant. Ryan Harris, he started the summer with a little injury, had a, an operation on his foot, but that's beautiful bowling. Right in that corridor of uncertainty. Haddon, typically safe and brilliant this summer, Brad Haddon. That's edged and brilliantly caught. Magnificent catch from Brad Haddon. And five wickets again for Ryan Harris. That is fantastic. 
what a way to cap off a match by the Australian side. A terrific all-round performance. But a great one for Ryan Harris again. Another five-wicket haul, and Brad Hatton finishes in style with an excellent keeper's catch. Five catches for Brad Hatton to go with the five wickets for Ryan Harris.